Yes. Yes. My teacher thought I was in love with her. Ew. Ugh. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this story time is a story time that I literally it's kind of embarrassing for me because ugh, it's a time I want to forget. Okay, this is a time I want to never remember ever again, ever, like ever. So this happened maybe when I was from the age of. 14 to let's say 17 yeah, yeah let's say 17 so my teacher my English teacher she was nice she was like she was like this was a class I enjoy like I didn't even have to do like you know some class you have to like study and study and prepare and practice so this is a class that was so simple for me like like you know English class you just use your imagination all the time I liked like I don't know I just I I liked my English teacher and I told like wow maybe one day I could be an English teacher too and I just looked up to her and I really really liked her and this is where the, like yeah okay so you're like okay so where did all this whole you, you should think you like your teacher team began well the way my mom raised me is that when you like someone you like a teacher you give them Christmas cards you um you say hello to them when you see them on the way like they're going to class like, hello miss you know like whenever I see her I'm just like hi um whenever I see my teacher on the way I'm just like hello miss and during Christmas I buy her a card Maybe with chocolate or something. Just like to like thank you for the school year. You know, just a gift to thank her. Giving a gift and listening in the class, paying attention. Like I don't make noise. I listen and I just I was just a good student. Okay, I was trying to be a good student. And pay attention. I wanted to see like how did she become such a good teacher. I, if I become a teacher, I want to be just like her too. Okay. I know I don't have lashes here, and you probably like. I should put lashes on, but I'm not that good at lashes. Another one, I'm gonna look. I'm going too far. Oh, hello. <laughs> I feel like I'm just coming here to show off my makeup skills from now on. Back to the story. I don't want to mess up the look. Okay, just ignore the oh, no lash thing. Okay. <laughs> but it's really pretty, right? I love it. <clears throat> so I was being nice to her in the class. When I see her in the hallway, I say hello. Uh, I give her presents, gifts for Christmas. Just name it. I was just a good student. I thought I was just a good student. That was what I was trying to be, a good student. <sighs> That's what I thought I was doing. You know that kind of look you give boys that are like pestering you? She said giving me those looks. And then I started feeling like, like, am I a creep? Like, what is going on? Like, I started giving it to, the, to her, you know, like, innocently. Like, I was giving her a gift and being nice and kind to her because I looked up to her and I just wanted to aspire to be just like her when I grew up. That was my intention. But then she started giving me this stock of, like, look. Like, she was like in the class she she just doesn't look my direction which is fine like i am not a creep guys i honestly like it's okay like uh i don't know why am i telling this story why <sighs> now i'm gonna look like a freaking creep guys i am not a creep okay <clears throat> so i don't understand why she was giving me this looks and she was just i don't know she, I, don't know, she, I, did, I just had this vibe coming off her. I was being nice to her, getting a gift, and like I was just being nice, okay. But she, she was tend to give me attitude, like, oh her again, like, why, what you want now, kind of vibes, like, oh her, like, oh no, no. So I was just like, what is going on, like, girl. 
But the weird part is, I feel like she was telling, like, other teachers that I was bothering her or, like, I was, I don't know, in love with her. Because all the other teachers started looking at me like, it's that girl, the one that likes the teacher. And I'm just like, oh, my God, what on earth? No, I'm just going to be nice. Because my mom raised me that. Like a teacher, you give them, you just give, that's just the way it was. When you like a teacher, you... She'll buy me something, she'll give it to me, she'll tell me to write a note, and I give it to my teacher. That was the way it was. And it wasn't even like I, I was giving it to her every day. It was just like Christmas time, end of the school year time. I mean, I did, I get it. I was not giving it to her. Because she was my only teacher I aspired to be like. She, like, she didn't take not, like... Like, she didn't take nonsense from anyone. Like, she she was a no-nonsense kind of girl. And, like, if someone was being rude to her, she would come, listen outside, and she would discuss it, even though it was happening during class. And I was just like, damn! Yes! That is my kind of vibe. That was my vibe. That was what I wanted to be like. That was what I, like, yes. That is the type of teacher I'm going to be like. You know, so, like, when I was given a gift, my intention was pure. Clear. She, on the, she on the other hand, she was like, "Oh, this girl again." Like there's even one time, I went to knock on the door. I was like, "Oh, would you please call Miss?" Da, 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 da. Okay, let's call her Miss Rose. I was like, "Oh, can you please call Miss Rose out for me? I have a Christmas gift for her." This lady did not come out. And I know she was, okay, my God, I sound like a freaking creep. <laughs> I'm not a creep, guys, I promise. This woman did not come out. I'm like, okay, give it to her, put it on the table or something. Then I was like, if you don't, if you don't like it, all you have to do is say, Karim, and stop giving me gifts. If it was even too expensive, I'm using my lunch money to buy all these Christmas cards I can't even afford. Girl, mm. So I stopped giving that gift. <sighs> So that was, yeah, that's basically the story. I was trying to be nice to my teacher, and she was busy thinking I was a creep, and I was in love with her, and I was stalking her, and she was giving me her attitude, and I'll come up to her, and she'll be looking at me like, <laughs> you know, like that kind of smile you give to people. They're like, <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> oh my god. She just, I don't know, she, her personality just matches mine. I was like, oh my god, yes, that is who I should be like. Like, oh my god, I'm such a creep, aren't I? I don't, I don't blame her for avoiding me. Oh, ow. But I, if I was a teacher and someone was giving me a gift, I would be appreciative. I'd be like, oh, thank you. Like, I wouldn't be thinking, like, my student was in love with me. What? Like, the vibe she was giving me was like, and I could tell that she was telling other teachers that I was obsessed with her because every other teacher started giving me looks and I was feeling uncomfortable in my own school like uh, you're not going to make me uncomfortable and I'm not going to change school because I have a lot of friends in the school and I'm not about to change school like I wasn't the most popular girl in school or anything but I already built a relationship and I'm not about to like give that up and thank god when I was in like um, when I was about 16, I don't know, we call it um, fifth year. When I was in fifth year, she left. She left during fifth year. And I was like, oh, I could breathe for a minute. I could literally breathe for a minute. And I also feel like she was, she, she didn't like, she didn't like the attention I was giving. Uh, I wasn't giving her attention. I was just paying attention in the class and I was giving her gifts. Like, it doesn't even, any, like, just, like, a normal relationship. But she, obviously, misunderstood the whole intention and thought I was, like, some sort of psycho, creepy girl who was in love with a teacher. No, way, you're not a boy. Like, she's she's female. I'm not into girls. Like, excuse you, ew. I mean, no offense, but, like, ew. You know No, but she's not even my type. Even if I was into girl, you're not my type. Okay, she's cute, but she's not my type. Number three, why would I... If I liked a teacher, why would I make it so obvious that I'm in love with you? Like, would that be like more like <laughs> secretly? Like, why would I be so bold and give you gifts and make it so obvious I was in love with you, girl? 
please Ugh, st stop it I was not in love with you I hope she's watching this cuz girl you're cute and all but yeah no mm -mm. nope <laughs> what you I mean she's cute but like girl it's not like that and you ruined the whole thing for yourself I was happy she was gone but then she came back in my last year of school there Ugh, I was like why are you back He's... but then again when she came back I passed my final exams so see that's why I wanted I that's why I liked her now because I was passing the class I went to I had another teacher I, I I didn't fail but I didn't do good but when she came back I passed so like thanks but it's not like that babe it's not oh god I could have babe thanks but it's not like that okay oh, okay let's just get that so tight honey I'm not into you I hope she's watching this I just liked your vibe I liked your energy and I wanted to aspire to be like that too like nice but no nonsense kind of girl that's what I was going for and so when I saw okay when I saw that my teacher was like that I was impressed I wanted to to exude that kind of energy too so I was paying attention to see like oh like where did she get that confidence from like uh, I don't know I just that's the whole story okay the point is I'm not in love with you I'm not you're not my type I'm not even a lesbian but you're not my type still okay <laughs> basically that's it I was trying to be nice and do a good thing. She felt I was being a pestering, border, some freak. And she was obviously uncomfortable. I stopped paying too much attention to her. Attention to her. And well, that was it. And then she left, which made everything so much better. Whew. But I failed. Well, I didn't fail. Well, I didn't pass either. But then she came back. And I was like, you see, this is the reason why I like you. I passed your class. <sighs> but not because I was in love with you. Please. Okay. That has been on my mind for so long. I feel like this is therapy session. I like this story time thing. I feel like it's like a therapy session. Like I get to like just let everything out. I hope someone is listening out there. If you're listening, thank you. Thank you for listening to my troubles and my worries and my problems. I mean, if you have a solution or you want, or you have something to say back to me, if you have anything, any comment, any, you want to ask me something, just go to the comment section below and ask away. I'm, I have open years. I'll answer them. I might even do a question and answer session soon in the future. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. Like my video, please, and subscribe. See, I'm wearing red lipstick a lot, so you can subscribe down, down there, okay? Subscribe is right, just down there. It's literally just down there. I it's, if you check, you see it's just, that, see that button? That red one, the red one, you see that? The red one? That one, yeah, that one. Please press it. Don't make my red lipstick go to, go to waste. I'm wearing red lipstick because it looks like a subscribe button. So remember to subscribe, okay? Thank you. That's all I want. That's all I, oh, that's all I ever want. <gasps> Nine. Thank you so much. Love you. <laughs> Bye.